Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the cheapest helmet mount for any type of helmet for your action camera. So this mount did not cost me anything. Okay, it cost me a little bit, but it's almost nothing. Uh, and it can be applied to any type of helmet without any modifications to the helmet, without any gluing and stuff like that. So basically what you need is a waterproof uh, case that you get with your camera. Uh, I got everything I need in the full package for my SJ Cam SJ5000. So if you have a waterproof case like this, and if you bought the full package for the AJ cam, you should be able to find in it a second door that has little slits on the sides. You can see the little slits here and here. This back door actually uh, it it is not waterproof, but it will record sound better and that's why it's there. Uh, in this case I use these slits to put some zip ties through them. Uh, you can, I think you can put like two or three, you don't have to go with four but I just want to have a more secure uh, connection here. Uh, if you don't have a second door, if you don't mind losing your waterproof abilities, if you are not going swimming or diving you can use your regular door and just cut cut through here two slits uh, that you will use for uh, knitting the zip lines through and making a something like this okay but if you have a second door on SJ cams you can switch up the door fairly easy but a lot of people don't know how to do it just open it put pressure downwards and pull it like this so there it is don't be afraid you're not going to break it just do it like that uh, then put the second door in here so right now I have the second door that is not waterproof it will still handle rain but you cannot go like swimming or diving with it. Uh -huh. I I even cut out some. Let me show you. I even cut cut out this part of the case so I can fit a cable for the micro USB so I can record three or four hours on my power bank. So yeah, waterproofing is not a big deal for me. But I rode in the rain and everything was okay. So, when you have it like this, it should look like this. Uh, don't mind this thing, I will explain later why this is here. It's a little bit ugly, but it does its job. The next thing you need for this is two straps. Uh, these straps were provided in the package with the SJ cam, but any strap will do that can be fastened like this. So when you pull through, you fasten, and this is what you need. Okay. So when you have those straps, pull them through here. First one, just put it down and push. Now push the second one through. Uh, make sure that it is the same way on. I guess. Okay. That's it. And the 
helmet mount is done it's really low cost and if you have everything I mean I only spent on these zip ties that I already had and some glue from the glue gun for this thing but I'm going to show you how to fasten this to the helmet this is my secondary helmet for so you will put the camera here Okay. Take the strap. Take one strap. Pull it through like this and fasten it. You don't have to tighten it too too much at first. You can always do that after. Okay. Second one, and you can tighten it as much as you want. Okay, and voila! The camera is on the chin. Uh, why I put this little bit of glue here is to achieve this angle of the camera. When you put a camera on a helmet, make sure that it's angled a little bit upwards because when you ride, you're gonna look like this, so a little bit downwards, and you should have the camera pointing up a little bit because if it's not, if it's looking straight, you will see a lot of, of your hands and your tank and handlebars and not a lot of, of the road. So this is this is the perfect setup for the camera and this is how it looks from the front you can adjust it there it is and you can also cl close the lid it does not go in the way of the lid and that's it that is the mount I'm going to show you on my Shoei as well this is my main helmet uh, my Shoei RF uh, 1100 so I'm going to show you that it actually works on or all all types of on all helmets. So taking it off is really simple. So I took that off. And the same principle goes here. Pull the straps straps through. Take one strap, tighten the strap. I'm going to cut the footage here and just show you after I'm finished or fast forward. And here it is. It works on all helmets. You can tighten it up as much as you want, but that's pretty much it. You can close it. You can open it. So yeah guys, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, press the like button, uh, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel. So see you next time. Bye bye.